Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to some. Hi Jules, welcome back. Today we are going to be making something really kind of cool. Something that you've already got probably in your magazines. Now what you're going to need for this project is a thicker piece from a magazine. Like one of the advertisement ads. like Almost like, um, like cardstock, but uh, from your magazine. You could also use cardstock if you wanted to. But we are going to be using several different techniques today. So um, you're going to need a jelly plate, or if you've got a glass mat and you can do some jelly printing on that, you can do that, or you can just slap some paint down. We're going to be doing that. But I've got a jelly plate, so we're going to use that. Then you're going to need a piece of paper. We are going to quickly coffee stain this with uh, some coffee and uh, make it real pretty. And you're going to need a button some string, twine, or whatever you've got laying around, and a needle. This is a sharp one, so I'll keep it in a little, a little glue thing to keep my tip from poking me. And let's see, I think that's all. And a little bit of glue, a little bit of glue. And I think I have that. Yep. A little bit of glue. I'm going to use some fabric tack because it's an, a quick grab, and yeah. I don't need to use anything else. So, first what we're going to do is we're going to copy stain this piece of graph paper real quick. Real quick. So, what we're going to do, I shoot this up and I'm going to spray this on. The strength is depending on how, uh, the strength is depending on how uh, much coffee, instant coffee that you put. And I'm using a spray bottle to quickly do this. I'm getting coffee everywhere, but that's okay. I'm going to use my heat gun to dry this real quick. I usually use a hair dryer, but that thing is really, really loud. Um, I think for my weekend. Now you can do this in a pan and let it drip dry, but we're kind of in a hurry. We're going to do it this way. <coughs> Feel free to do that if you're watching this and want to get to the next step.
extended period of time. It'll make your heat gun overheat and uh, you won't last much longer. I have done this twice now. Went through a heat gun doing it this way. So I learned to use a hair dryer for a very quicker way to dry. Of course it has a little bit more kick and it can move the poppy around on your page and make it just a little bit more, um, have a little bit more design to it instead of sitting in one area. And you can also do this with tea as well, the instant tea. Put it in a bottle, put it however dark you want it. Shake it up in a, in a spray bottle and go to, go to spray. And that's your quick way of getting it tea stain or coffee stain. Little trip for the trade.
a perfectly piece of copy sand paper and move to the bat. Let's move that move off. So that's a, trick, a quick way to get some quick copy stain paper. All right, we're going to set this aside. Now, I'm going to clean my desk up, clean the coffee up off. My glass plate here is a cleaner. I think it'll come back out. There we go. Really quick cleaner. Now we're going to get our jelly plate out. We got you in frame. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take this the coating off. Now, this is where your paint and your brayer come in handy. We're going to do this rather quick. I'm just going to put some paint down. No rhyme or reason with the colors. There was just paint left sitting on my desk, and we're going to use that paint. But we're going to make it pretty. So we're just going to put some white, some pretty purple. We're not going to need much because we're only doing one sheet. We got some gold. Another purple. Whoop. And then got some blue. Same colors we used the last time in one of our videos. Alright, and we're just going to spread this out on the sheet, on the jelly plate. Makes them look pretty springy type color. Alright, now we're going to need that uh, magazine page, which I have misplaced already. Okay. Hmm. Now, we're going to use one of the sides and we're going to lay it down. I had to cut it down because it was just a little bit big for my jelly plate and I wanted to get all the color. So we're going to lay it down and get as much color on that opposite side as we can. So this is what we have. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put this down on the edge here and get that strip that we missed. to get the edges that we missed. So we still have a little paint left on the brayer. Alright, and we're going to dry this up real quick. Real, 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 real quick. to seal this real quick. Sorry if I'm talking too loud. My face is real close to the camera. I'm going to use a little bit of my homemade Mod Podge to seal this in. You know what? That would look really pretty with a little bit of glitter. So guess what? I'm going to go grab some glitter. Add to that. Sure, it's nice and pretty. Let's see. Let's see. What do we got here? 
Hmm. Let's look. I gotta find a little cup too. Hmm. Let's go with some iridescent. little cup. I'm going to add some Mod Podge to this bowl here. Then we're going to add some iridescent glitter. And let's see. this up in that. So we just made our own glitter glue. But there is glitter, you'll be able to see it. We may do a couple of coats for this. Let's see. Oh yeah, that is pretty. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Side, and we're going to dry this real quick. more coat to this, make it extra shiny. I don't know if y'all can see the shine to it or not. Let's see. Very pretty. But I'm going to add one more coat to this. And I will use that glitter uh, paste on another project coming up. What's left? super shiny or super glittery can't go wrong with glitter can we ladies we all love glitter there are some people that don't like glitter but I do so we're gonna go get this out of the way again
have our very shiny glittery cover here. Aren't that pretty? <laughs> Alright, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip it over. Make sure that's right. Alright, we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna see. Yeah, that covers that up real well. You can't even hardly see. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this down to the to this side. putting a lot of glue in that. No, not really. Alright, so we're going to paste this down. Make sure that's straight on there. Because we're going to trim the edges anyway, so it's needed to to make sure that that was on there. Alright, now we're going to take the scissors. We're going to trim around the edges there. Scrappy projects, scrappy paper projects. Now, so what you're going to have basically is a front and an inside. So you can hardly tell what was on these. You don't even know it was a magazine page, a thicker magazine page. Now, the really, really fun part is what's coming up next. Now, this is where your needle, your button, and your your thread come into play. Now, you're going to need enough thread to be able to wrap around this and you'll understand what I mean whenever I get done. Alright, so I believe we've got enough. Now, what you're going to do with this thread is you're going to thread this through the buttonhole. me fumble with this. <sighs> when you know it, I get on camera and I have the fumbles. Alright, now, now we've got that threaded. We're going to tie that in the back. Kind of close to the button. Make sure it's secure. Alright. Now we got that. Trim that excess uh, string. Not the long string, but the short string that you tied with. Now. Now, you have a button on the end of a string. You say, what are we doing with that? Oh, well, you'll see. Alright, now, you're going to take you just another small piece of thread. I'm using embroidery thread. You can use whatever you want. Alright, where did I cut that off at? Don't you just love it when you lose the string? Hmm. 
it is after I pulled that whole thing apart. Now I want just a little bit of thread so you can sew with. Just a little bit, not a lot. Well, that might not be long enough for the thread. For the needle, though. Don't worry, guys. I'm not wasting. I'll use all this. Now you're going to use your needle. You're going to thread it through the big eye. Now you're going to choose which side is going to be your top or your bottom. I'm going to choose the top, which is up here. Now you're going to put, you're going to sew your button on here. Now you may choose to uh, glue down or uh, sew down a reinforcement spot so the button um, so the button holes don't wear out. But I'm not for the case of this. Just, in, uh, just for the, the tutorial purposes. Now we're going to put our needle through and we're going to sew through that hole again. Alright, so now that we have that on there, take your needle off. That's all you needed that for was to thread that through. Poke your holes and thread it through. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie a little knot there, just a little knot, do a double or you can do a triple, it's up to you, then trim off your excess. And so now what you have is an attached button to your paper. You can use a brad, you can use a rivet hole, or not a rivet hole, but a rivet. But for this, I'm just using a button because I like the button look. Now what you're going to do, we're almost done guys, we are almost done. What you're going to do is you're going to tri-fold it. that down. So there you have a little pocket. And so what you do is you wrap this around and wrap it around. And so now you have a little insert, an envelope insert, which you can now open. and you can journal in. You can write it here and it almost feels like leather the way I did that. The two coats of this and the paint and the thick uh, the thick um, magazine page. You'd have never known this was a magazine page. It's very sparkly, very pretty. You can do even more sentiments on it. But I think this was this is such a pretty idea. You can even use your sewing machine to sew around the edges. You can put uh, ribbon around the edges. I mean, you can pretty this up and fancy it up as much as you want to. You can even put that uh, uh, little embellishment over top of that little buttonhole that we made to sew that on to pretty it up. But anyway, guys, this is a little journal pocket, a little journal closure, or a little journal pocket button closure that you can use in your journals or as is. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for coming in and watching this video. I appreciate it so much and I thank you for your all of your continued support and uh, I look forward to seeing you on my next video. I'm going to leave you with some food for thought. <clears throat> the greatest weapon against stress is our ability to choose one thought over another. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I love you all. Thank you for coming in. If you're not a part of our group, please head over to Facebook and join our group, Creative Jewels by, Creative Jewels by Emily. And if you are not subscribed and you, and you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in our next video.